Hi everyone, I'm Laura from House Beautiful and welcome to Spring Cleaning Phase 2. Today, I want to rearrange the furniture in my bedroom. I've also always wanted to kind of test other layouts in this room, but I hadn't had the chance to do it because of life, you know? So I think it's a good time to test it. I have a theory that if I start rotating the room, it's just going to change drastically the amount of space and the efficiency of how things are placed. So why don't we give that a go? So our current space looks like this. We each have our own nightstand and we have our drawer and these little baskets that store all of the shenanigans that one doesn't need to show the public. I'm going to start by removing fr uh, frames, removing anything that kind of shakes and is just annoying to move with, and then just continue to shift things around. Okay guys, with all of this moving, there's a lot of dust coming out. And I have to say, here, the Roomba has saved my life. The Roombas are usually very expensive, but I got this one on a Black Friday, which was half price. Definitely worth an investment. Think about it. Okay, guys, that wasn't. So I have very strong feelings to get you against you rugs. I feel like they shed so much that it always feels like the room is dusty and not clean. I'm gonna eventually change it, but in the meantime, I'm not gonna keep using it. But don't judge the uncleanliness of this room. It's all because of that rug. One thing that I've learned with moving around is that putting felt feet on your furniture is essential to not make any scratches on your floor. That, and also if you have neighbors under you and you don't want to be making that much noise, they definitely are a plus. Kind of like the setup. Not in love with it, but I like it. The pros are that it feels bigger. There's more light and I think it's due to the fact that we're right behind the window. It just really feels like there's a lot of space. Like it, I almost feel like I could potentially put a bench in front of the bed. It just feels like there's more potential for more. However, the cons are the dressers. They're too big. They almost feel too chunky. And also the, the distance between the bed and the dresser is very, very slim. And I think it has to do with the crown molding on the floor because it won't let me push the drawers further back. Since I'm not in love with it, I'm gonna give it another go. Flip this again and see how that feels. Stay tuned for more bruises with Laura. Ooh, okay, that was number two. I have to say, kind of like it. The pros are that the dresser is now closer to the closet. So that just feels like it's a natural movement from getting your underwear and whatever to getting your dresses, suits, whatever that may be. The only negative thing, which I personally don't necessarily mind, but I know that my boyfriend does is he hates the fact that people could see you from the door. So he has to have the bed looking the opposite way from the door. Why? Beats me. Next part is the next movement, which is back to the original. I might switch some things here and there, um, but so far it really feels like how we had it is the best way. So maybe we were right from the beginning. Let's see me moving stuff again. I'm getting bruised up again. Also, Mark finally got home, so he's gonna help me move. Yay. After having moved the entire room twice, I honestly think that the first one was better. It made the room feel bigger, it made the flowing feng shui just make more sense. So I think I would have never known if I hadn't tried, so here's the trying. Okay. So we're done! 
Those were three different setups, completely different in the same space. And we went back to the first one. I would have preferred to, to do the other one, but now the door is here, headboard's there, and the boyfriend's happy, so I'll live with it. I have three important things to say for people that are rearranging furniture. One, add those little sticky plushy things underneath any piece of furniture that you will be dragging so that you don't make scratches on your floor. Two, in the case that you do end up making scratches on your floor, you can buy those little pens that you can color in the wood uh, shade that you have so it kind of like hides it a bit, especially if you're in a rental space like this one. And three, wear shoes when you're moving furniture. It will save you leaps. Mark was doing it without it, and trust me, he hurt himself a couple times, and that could have been avoided. On the next episode, we're gonna be tidying up that space, and I'll also show you my little tricks of how to organize in a small closet space. If you have any questions of how to hang art on your wall, or how to make curtains, or choose the right curtains or anything in your house, make sure to subscribe to House Beautiful because we make sure to answer those questions for you. I hope you liked this episode. Tune in next week. Bye guys.